Former TV star faces two counts of downloading and possessing child pornography. Josh Duger's child pornography trial began on Tuesday with jury selection, and just hours before the disgraced star arrived to court, his attorneys filed legal documents that attempt to prohibit a witness from delivering further testimony. In a supplemental brief filed on November 30, Duger's attorneys request that any further testimony from witness Bob I. Holt be prohibited. The request comes just one day after Holt testified at an evidentiary hearing held on Monday, where Josh's father, Jim Bob Duggar, also took the stand. The testimony adduced by the parties at the evidentiary hearing reveals that any statements made to Bob I. Holt and or Jim Holt by Duggar or Jim Bob Duggar were made to them in their capacity as spiritual advisors with the expectation that the communications would be kept confidential. As such, any such statements are shielded from disclosure by the clergy privilege and, therefore, Duggar respectfully requests that this court prohibit the government from eliciting any further testimony from Bob I concerning these purported conversations. The documents state, Josh's attorneys Justin Gelfand and Travis Story go on to claim it is undisputed that Jim Holt and Jim Bob Duggar were church elders of the Bible Grace Fellowship Church and that Bob I participated in sessions with her husband and church members for the purpose of providing spiritual guidance on a regular basis. They explain that testimony from Monday discussed the meeting that was held between the parties that involved discussions of allegations involving Josh was initiated by a phone call from Jim Bob to Jim, who, in addition to being a church elder, was also an ordained minister and a chaplain.